Hi, I'm The Nature Guy, and today I have Leanne Handysides that is helping me, my granddaughter. She got a new pet, and we want to talk about that. So what kind of a pet did you get? An axolotl. An axolotl. What's an axolotl? It's um, a salamander. It's a salamander. Now, what about salamanders are amphibians, right? Yeah. So they spend half their life in the water, and then they grow lungs and they come out and they spend half their life on land. So yeah. things like a frog and a toad and salamanders. But what's special about this kind of salamander, that axolotl? It never comes out of water. It doesn't come out of the water. It forgets it's supposed to be an amphibian and come out? Yeah. Yeah, so he lives in the water and he has gills. Where are the gills? Um, that, like, on his neck. On his neck, and they stick out, right? Almost like on our, almost like where our ears are, but a little farther back. Oh, yes. And so those, um, those gills, that's what they use for breathing underwater, right? Yeah. And in a baby salamander, they would lose those yeah. and come out on land, but the axolotl is the only one that keeps the 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 uh, the gills there and you can see the gills beating every once in a while because just like we kind of breathe in that's when, that when they pull their gills back is when they're um pulling out the water oh okay and then by pushing fresh water over they get fresh oxygen just yeah. like when we when breathe they, in and out when they, they go, when they go up there, yeah. that's when they're breathing in water and Air, and then when they close it, it just brings out the air. Now, is oh, what's what's your axolotl's name? Snacksalotl. Snacksalotl. That <laughs> must be because you like snacks. <laughs> All right. Now, this snack. This I was almost called him a snacksalotl. This axolotl. What color is he? He's white with pink gills. White with pink gills. Are all axolotls white like that? No, some can be black, some can be blue, some can be green. It depends on what habitat they have. Oh, and, and this white one that's called a leukistic coloration, right? Which means it doesn't have yes. a lot of it. It's not a, a true albino because it doesn't have red eyes. There is brown ones, but their gills are white. Oh, well, the gills are white and their eyes are white or red. Yeah, so. This one is actually almost transparent. You can kind of see through almost. It's, uh, if you look through the bottom, you can see the Oh, if you look through the bottom, you can see that its stomach is full. You feed it well? Yeah. What does it eat? So, it will eat these food pellets. Uh -huh. You can get them at a regular store. Okay. They are for catfish, stingrays, and axolotls. Oh, they all eat the same stuff. And what does it really like to eat? It really likes to eat baby mealworms. Oh, little worms. Okay, all right. Babies only. Oh, no okay. Babies. Now, how big is this axolotl going to get? This axolotl can get this big if it has a long lifetime, but if it doesn't, it will get this big at least. All right, so In they the can wild, grow. they only get this big mm -hmm. because they'll get hurt or killed by a predator. Yeah, there's a lot of things that we like to eat when I was now. Where, where axolotls are pets all over the world now, but where did the original axolotls come from, you know? In um, Mexico. Yes, in Mexico, near Mexico City. Two lakes. In a cave. Yeah, it, two lakes that have caves, underwater lakes kind of thing. Yes. Um, and uh, so there aren't very many in the wild. But these are raised in captivity and can, can make mm -hmm. some pets. So. Okay, so he's right in here. Come mm -hmm. here, you want to come? Come out. No, you like staying inside your little tent? Yeah, it's a little, little protection. I think they like that, right? So the birds can't catch them in the wild. So I want to ask a question. Is it easy to keep an axolotl? No. Okay, what kind of things do you have to do to make sure the axolotl is so, happy and healthy? Something that will help us keep the temperature right for it. Mm -hmm. We have a little chart. Well, oh, the chart here, this is a test kit. So what you were showing there is a test kit, and it, so, it turns colors. Okay. So when it's at, um, when it's this, it's really happy, loves its surrounding. This isn't, this is like almost about to die. This means I'm dead. 
Uh oh, so yeah. Oh yeah, so we have to watch the pH and the ammonia level and the nitrate level. And yeah, it has to stay cool enough, but not too cold, right? No, but if it's too cold, they die. Yeah. So now I have another question. He hasn't moved very much from right down. He's hiding under a leaf right now. D does he move? Um, he does. Most of the time, they walk around when they're babies because it's hard to keep their weight up with their tiny tail. Okay. So when they're adults, they will swim up. But when they're babies, they'll try to prop themselves up and climb. Okay, so this guy's climbed up sometimes, and when he... When he comes off of that, he swims around. Yeah, but sometimes when uh, axolotls want to, occasionally you'll see them swim up to the top, take a gulp of air. Oh, and now I thought they had gills on the outside. They why, do. Yeah, so why does he gulp the air? Because he also has lungs. Oh, he has lungs as well. But if he's out for over an hour, he will die because his lungs are too dry. So he can go out for a little bit, but not too long. Yes. Then he has to go back to the water. Okay. And, he, and if your axolotl is gulping air four or five times a day, that means there's no oxygen in their tank, and that's bad. Oh, so you got to get more oxygen in the water. That's yeah. why we have the no, I have the big, yeah, the equipment to get air in there and keep it the right temperature and test the water to make sure it's good. So it takes a lot, a lot of work to keep an axolotl healthy, huh? Yes. Kind of like people, we have to be healthy, right? Is what we're yeah. doing? All right. Okay, Leanne, thank you for telling me about your new pet. And we've learned a lot of things about axolotls. I've only seen two axolotls in my life, and this is one of them. So that's been a lot of fun. Now, do you think there's a lesson that we can learn uh, about the axolotl that maybe tells us something? Yeah. Okay, can you tell us a lesson? Um, here's how I had to prepare the tank for this axolotl. God had to prepare the wool for us. Oh. It's really hard to keep these guys alive. It's really hard to keep us alive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God's sometimes pretty busy trying to keep us safe, right? Yeah. yeah. Don't fall off that mountain. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. So that's a great lesson from the axolotl. Thank you, Leanne. We'll see everyone next time. Bye.